In this video, we'll be walking through how to calculate out circular mill area and then how to take that and determine what wire size, what AWG size we're going to need when we have that strand size. So here's an example of a single strand, we'll say a solid conductor. It's got a diameter of 5 64ths of an inch. So our first step when we deal with this is we're going to take 5 and divide it by 64 and turn it into a decimal. That in this case becomes 0.078125 inches. Now we need to convert these inches into mils. We do that by multiplying that number by 1000. So which means we move the decimal spot over 3 spots. So we end up with 78.125 mils. Now we're going to convert this to circular mils. Circular mill area is your mils squared. So we're going to take 78.125 and we're going to square it to get our circular mill area. In this case, that works out to be 6,103.5 CMA, circular mill area. In this example here, we have some stranded conductor. Each strand is 1 16th of an inch, and there are seven strands here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 strands, each 1 16th of an inch. We're going to follow the same steps. We're going to take 1 divided by 16, and that works out to be 0 0.0625 inches. We're going to take this number now and convert it to mils by multiplying it by 1,000 or moving this decimal spot over 3. That ends up being 62.5 mils. Then we're going to take this number here and we're going to square it to get our circular mill area of one strand. That ends up being 3,906.25 CMA. Then we've got seven of them. So we've got to take this CMA and multiply that by seven. That works out to be 27,343.75 CMA. Make sure you do it in this order. You work out the CMA of each strand, then multiply it by the strands. Don't do it the other way where you would typically figure out the mils of each one, then multiply the mils by the seven, then try to figure out your CMA. You'll get a wrong answer. Figure out the CMA of each strand, multiply it by the number of strands. Now that we have our CMA, we can go ahead and determine which wire size, which AWG size we're going to need. So we've got our chart here. So we've got our American wire gauge numbers here. So we have 4 aught, 3 aught, 2 aught, 1 aught, number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4 as we go up. As we go up higher in gauge, the actual diameter of the wire gets smaller and smaller. So we're dealing with our big ones here, 4 aught, 3 aught, 2 aught, 1 aught. As we get bigger than 4 aught, which we can, we can go to 250 MCM, we can go to 300 MCM, 400 MCM, 600 MCM. Those are not shown in this chart here, but they do exist. Now in the example we have here, we're going to take this number, 27,343.75 CMA, and we're going to look for the area that that could fit. So that's too big, that's too big, this is too big, 105, 500 is too big. This is too big, 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 this is too small. So it looks like we go to this size here because we're going to size up, but there isn't actually a number five. We're, we stick with even numbers when we are dealing with our American wire gauge size in the field. So instead of going to a number five, we'll go to a number four. So a number four wire would be able to handle everything that this wire here needs it to handle. And that is how you calculate out CMA for a conductor.